know, it kind of looks like cake frosting. So today I'm going to talk about my best affordable skincare options for the winter months. So I just recently started to change up my skincare routine because I live in a climate where there's not a lot of moisture in the air during the winter. I already have issues with dry skin, but during the winter time it can go from just dry to beyond dry. Sometimes it's itchy and flaky and a little uncomfortable. So I put together a group of fairly affordable skincare options, which I know the word affordable is going to be different for everybody, but I tried to keep my choices as budget friendly as possible. So if you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss anything. If you want to know my thoughts on all these winter skincare products, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So for cleaning my face, I have two products here that I routinely have been using. So my first step is to remove my makeup, just to get off my face as quickly as possible. And for that, I use the Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Lotion. So I just use a couple of pumps of this and massage it all over my face. And this breaks down all my makeup. It breaks down liquid lipsticks, it breaks down waterproof mascara, and from there I just use like a white cotton makeup removing pad just to wipe the residue off my face. This product is perfect for removing makeup during the winter months because it doesn't dehydrate or irritate my skin and it doesn't leave a greasy film either. The second product I use for washing my face is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. Finding the right cleanser is really difficult, especially one that's moisturizing. This doesn't feel like your traditional facial cleanser. It almost feels like a moisture lotion in a way. It contains glycerin and ceramides and hyaluronic acid and all sorts of good things to lock moisture into the skin and prevent it from dehydrating. This is one of my favorite facial washes I have ever used. It's not like a deep, clean, type of wash, but it is excellent for an everyday cleanser that will leave your face feeling clean, but not too dry. It doesn't produce any suds or anything on the skin like a soap would. I just love this product for being a simple hydrating face wash that doesn't break me out or dry my skin. So for skin moisturizers, I'm currently alternating between three different products. The first product is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. I have been using this product for about a year and I swear by this stuff. I can't really imagine it ever leaving my skincare routine. It's one of my favorites. It's recommended by dermatologists. I use this in the winter time, both during the day and nighttime. It has a little bit of everything in here. Uh, glycerin, um, ceramides, cholesterol, hyaluronic acid. So this is a thick, heavy consistency. Usually after I have a shower, I just scoop a bunch out and slather it all over my face, up and down my neck. Even I use it sometimes as an all over body cream. What I love most about this is although it's a very thick, heavy cream, it doesn't sit like that on the skin. It absorbs very quickly and it dries almost to a matte finish. It's very odd, like I can feel my skin is hydrated, but it doesn't look shiny, it doesn't look greasy. Also, a big tub of this is about 15 to $16. You can usually find it on sale somewhere at any major drugstore. I slather it on because I have dry skin, but a little really goes a long way. The only downside to this is it doesn't have an SPF in it which because of my complexion is an issue for me. I have to wear some sort of sunscreen on my face in the winter time. Otherwise I get melasma patches on my forehead and my upper cheeks. It's just something I'm prone to. So for days that are sunny but cold during the winter, I reach for the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with um, an SPF of 15, which is usually enough for me during the winter time. In the summer, I'm always using an SPF of 30, but during the winter, I can get away with an SPF of 15. This is just a nice lightweight moisturizer that gives me all day hydration combined with the right amount of sun protection for the winter. So the third product I only discovered about three weeks ago, and since that time, I can't stop using it, and it is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm for dry skin. This product is more of a gel than it is a cream. It absorbs quickly into the skin. It doesn't feel oily or greasy. But what I love most about it is that there's this very refreshing cooling sensation 
when you massage it into the skin. I think it's the aloe. Aloe is listed, I think, as the third ingredient in this. But I've been using this before bed the past few weeks and I love it. I'm going to continue using this during the winter months. It hydrates my skin without making it feel greasy and it's one of the more affordable options at the drugstore. I think I picked this up for about $13. So we're moving on to face masks. I have two face masks here that are both good for dry skin and budget friendly. The first is the Garnier Pure Clay Exfoliating Red Algae Face Mask. This product isn't hydrating at all for the skin, but it's a really gentle face exfoliator. So I'm prone to dryness right around my chin area and along the edge of my forehead. So about once a week, I'll take a little bit of this and massage it onto my face, let it dry, and then rinse it off. It doesn't dehydrate my skin at all, and it gets rid of those pesky little dry patches that like to aggravate my chin and forehead area. The second face mask I love during the winter is the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Face Mask. That is a bit of a mouthful. If you love the smell of coconut, you will love this product. I use this about twice a week during the winter. It leaves my skin feeling hydrated and super soft. One thing to keep in mind is it doesn't dry down like other face masks do, so it doesn't feel tight or uncomfortable on your skin. It contains coconut oil and avocado oil and aloe and honey and all sorts of other good stuff to keep your skin hydrated during the winter. Why is it cats always like to interrupt you in the most inappropriate times? All right, you have to get down, sweetie. Come on, come on, down, down. Good boy. So for lip products, I have two different treatments here that are both affordable and get the job done. So the first is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Lip Balm with Coconut Pear. I've always been a fan of Burt's Bees lip balm, but I am loving this one. The fragrance is light and natural for this one. It doesn't smell chemical or fake or overwhelming. It applies to the lips smooth. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It moisturizes my lips and makes them feel soft and healthy. The only thing that would make this a little bit better for me would be if it had an SPF to it, which brings me to my second option. This is the Blistix Daily Conditioning Lip Treatment with an SPF of 20. I use this when I'm having a really bad lip day during the winter, when it's just dry and flaky and wearing lipstick is just not an option for that day. This lip treatment is seriously one of the best for dry chap lips. I'll put this on before I go to bed at night and when I wake up in the morning, my lips are soft and it's like I never had chap lips. Whatever is in this seems to fix the problem. So anyone who's ever lived in an ultra cold climate knows that hand cream is a must during the winter. So I have three products here that are my go-tos for dried cracked hands. The first, I was a little hesitant to show you guys because uh, I really need to get a new one. I'm down to the last inch on this. This is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. This is a long time bestseller from the Body Shop. This is by far one of the best hand creams I've ever used. It does have a bit of a medicinely type of smell. Is that even a word, medicinely? I don't know. It smells like patchouli or sandalwood. It's very, I don't know. It's one of those scents that I can see turning people off easily to the product, but if you can get past the smell, I highly recommend this product. My hands can get almost like an eczema type texture on them. They get dry and it's almost like a painful rash that sometimes happens, but this stuff is awesome. It hydrates my skin. It has something in it that soothes the itchiness and the dryness and the cracking on my skin and it doesn't leave there's no grease, there's no oil, it absorbs quickly. It is one of the best hand creams I've ever used. If you're sensitive to smells and the hemp hand cream just isn't an option for you, another really good affordable option is the Nivea hand cream anti-aging skincare with CoQ Enzyme 10 in it. I usually keep this one in my purse when I'm on the go because it's so compact, but for the price, I think I picked this up for $5. I know this one was around the $5 mark. It was pretty cheap. This one moisturizes really well. It left my hands feeling soft, but not greasy. So this one is a great drugstore affordable option. And because I love the face mask so much, I had to try the Yes to Coconut Dry Skin Protecting Hand Cuticle Cream. This is a non-greasy yet super moisturizing hand cream. 
right out of the tube you can tell that this stuff is rich it I don't know it kind of looks like cake frosting but it's just it's a really beautiful hand cream I think I picked this up for about eight dollars it absorbs into the skin almost instantly and of course it smells like coconuts which is awesome so this product contains coconut oil and avocado and jojoba and sweet almond and sesame oil and shea butter and basically if it's moisturizing and hydrating it's in here it's kind of similar to the CeraVe moisturizing cream that I mentioned earlier where it dries down to a matte finish I mean I just applied this and my hands don't look like an oil slick the scent does linger though so if you're not really into the coconut scent you might want to skip this one so those are all my affordable winter skincare recommendations I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions regarding any of these products please leave them in the comment section below don't forget if you enjoyed the style of video please give it a thumbs up if you want to catch more of my reviews consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye